In 1951, the German-American philosopher Hannah Arendt published The Origins of Totalitarianism, in which she describes how totalitarian states arise and how to prevent this from happening. Hannah Arendt was born in Hanover, Germany in 1906 to a secular Jewish family, and during her childhood she witnessed the rise of both Adolf Hitler's Nazi party in Germany and Joseph Stalin's Communist Party in the Soviet Union. In 1933, having been briefly imprisoned by the Gestapo for her political activism, Arendt decided to leave Germany, seeking refuge first in Paris and then ultimately in America, where she spent the rest of her life. According to Arendt, what she had witnessed growing up was in her view an entirely new form of authoritarian government, which she called totalitarianism. Totalitarianism differs from other forms of authoritarian government, such as despotism or tyranny, in that it uses terror not just as a means of suppressing political adversaries, but also as a tool for subjugating its citizens. Arendt believed that four elements were necessary for totalitarianism to arise. Firstly, society needs to be divided so that the marketplace of ideas, which is fundamental to a democratic, civic plurality, is dismantled, resulting in society becoming nothing but a collective of alienated individuals. Secondly, there needs to be a strong man with a strong story, who unifies the collective through fear, such as, for instance, the fear of terrorism, immigration or war. Thirdly, the natural rights and individual sovereignty of human beings has to be eroded so that people are reduced to nothing more than animals, at which point they become, as Arendt says, superfluous, and society thinks nothing of committing acts of atrocity against them. Finally, there needs to be a sufficient critical mass of thoughtless individuals who can enact the will of the totalitarian state without questioning its directives. Such people, Arendt claims, are not in themselves evil, even if the deeds they perform are. Rather, they are in fact terrifyingly banal or even ordinary, but merely lack the internal dialogue and consideration required for a person to think and act morally. Arendt believed that these elements of totalitarianism are ever-present in political culture, and one must therefore remain ever-vigilant. She believed in the tradition of the Greek philosopher Aristotle, that man is a political animal, and that if one wishes to prevent the rise of totalitarianism, then one is obliged to engage in political discourse, peaceful dissent, and the free exchange of ideas necessary for the maintenance of our democracy. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe for more content just like it. And until next time, thanks for watching.